In last week's video where I bought a GT710 to see how the second best selling graphics card on Amazon actually performed, I stumbled onto one of the most horrendous pre-built systems that I've ever seen in my life. So let's have a look at it and have a bit of a giggle. Before we get any further into the video, I just need to point out the fact that I now have... <laughs> I now have the world's worst mustache. Now, I am doing this for Movember, so if you're curious, go and see my Movember fund page in the description. A bunch of people have already donated to that, and that's really awesome. Thank you very much. I actually look a little bit like Napoleon Dynamite's brother, which <laughs> really isn't a good look. But now, with that ridiculousness out of the way, let's have a look at... Honestly, a horrendous pre-built system. So here we have it. It's the iBuy Power Enthusiast Gaming PC. Now let's just have a quick look at the specifications of this system. Um, it comes with an AMD Ryzen 3 3200, which is uh, the main processor, which also has pretty good integrated graphics. Now in the video where I compared the GT710 to the Intel integrated graphics, I actually found that the GT710 is about 50% as fast as the integrated Intel graphics, which is significantly worse than um, the Vega graphics on the AMD APUs. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, it has eight gigs of DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM, which is not very good, especially when pairing it with an APU and considering how cheap RAM is these days, uh, that's too little and the RAM isn't fast enough. It comes with a one terabyte normal hard drive, so it doesn't have an SSD in it, which may affect kind of like system responsiveness and things like that. It comes with genuine Windows 10, um, so it's Windows 10 Home. And then it comes with, now this is the really terrible part of the system. It comes with an NVIDIA GeForce G. T710. Now, not only is it the GT710, but it's also the one gig version. Now, I tested the two gig version, which let me remind you again, is significantly slower than the Intel integrated graphics. So basically, the reason that this system is as bad as it is, is the fact that this GT710 is a significantly slower graphics card than the integrated graphics in this, in this AMD Ryzen CPU. So it means by adding this graphics card, they're actually having a big negative impact on the gaming performance on this system. And this motherboard looks pretty horrendous. Um, I don't know if this is the actual motherboard that comes with the system, but I don't actually recognize it. Although, you know, it's got no VRM cooling. It, it just, it, it doesn't look great at all. And another thing that's really worrying about it is that it's just got one stick of RAM in it, which which means it's one 8 gig stick of RAM, which again, for gaming performance isn't good because it's gonna be running in single channel memory, which means that the system's gonna have even less memory bandwidth. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's not a good configuration to be running it in. But anyway, let's have a look at what they say about this system. Maybe we can get some more information uh, here. Oh wow, here they actually give you an estimated kind of gaming performance, what you should expect from the system. Uh, the only game here that I tested in my benchmark suite was actually CSGO. They're saying that at high to max graphics at 1080p, you should be expecting 150 plus frames per second from CSGO. That, I can tell you right now, is a straight up lie. I was getting way under 100 frames per second at the lowest graphic settings. Where did they get these figures? That's just ridiculous. That's really weird. Let's look at what systems they compare it to. Actually, this HP Pavilion system looks significantly better, but we'll get into that later. Actually, what I'm going to do later is I'm going to I'm going to I'm spec out the parts that this system has in and see how much it costs if you just buy the components to build your system yourself, uh, which I know isn't for everybody, but we'll we'll look at other options later as well. I think the weirdest part about the system for me is the fact that the consumer reviews or the customer reviews give it a 3.9 out of 5 rating from 291 ratings. That, what? That's, that's really weird. Honestly, you should not under any circumstances buy this system. It is horrendous and they're just kneecapping its own performance just so that they could say, where was it down here? So that they can say it's got dedicated graphics in it. 
Honestly, all they need to do to make this PC better is take the GT710 out. Um, but okay, so with that out of the way, let's actually spec up kind of what I think this system would be and see how that price comp compares to the, I'm going to say $500 because this is a, this is a, a, a discounted price and when I saw it first, it was actually selling for $500. So here we have the system that I spec'd out. Um, first off, the case, I didn't really know what case to go for uh, because I don't know exactly what case the iBuy power system is using. Uh, but this one has tempered glass, which is one of the things that the iBuy power system was talking about. I have a one terabyte uh, Barracuda drive in there. I don't know exactly what normal hard drive that system uses. It just said one terabyte, so I got that. Um, there's this power supply, which is by EVGA. And I, I can almost guarantee to you that this power supply is gonna be better than the one that iBuy power includes even though i i don't know if this is a decent power supply or not um, although evga is usually pretty good even their budget stuff uh, this motherboard is a b450m by azrock this is apparently quite a good b450 uh, board and i can tell you again right now that this is almost definitely a lot better than the motherboard that that i buy power system is using ram wise i've got eight gigs of this patriot viper memory um it's two by four so it is a better configuration it's not just one stick it's two and it's 3000 megahertz which is actually faster again than the i buy power systems um i've got the gt 710 the one gig version here and then the ryzen 3 3200g now the total of these components comes down to $395, which is actually $100 less than that iBuy power system. Now I do want to say that this system doesn't include Windows uh, 10 Home like the iBuy power system does, but you can buy a Windows 10 key for not very much money off a bunch of websites, and I really wouldn't recommend buying it off Amazon. Um, yeah, so it means that for Windows and for building the system, they're charging you $100. Now, $100 wouldn't be that crazy if it's a $2,000 system, but $100 to build a $400 system is, is, is very, very high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the budget of $400 so that we, you know, take into account building the system and a Windows key. And I'm going to spec a significantly better PC, which you should definitely be building instead. And then if you're not into building your own PC, we'll look at better uh, pre-built system configurations for you. And here we go. So this is my configuration, which actually costs $4 less than the components in that other system. And I think these components make a lot more sense. Now, I kept the same case because this is down to personal preference. I don't know if this is a decent case or not, but, you know, choose one that looks nice to you and that has decent airflow. Um, and then here we've got a 500 gig SSD. So it's half the storage, but it is an SSD. So it's going to perform a lot better when it comes to like desktop applications and game loading and things like that. So I think an SSD is very important, even in a budget build. Um, here we have 16 gigs of DDR4, 3200 megahertz. Now, I don't have personal experience with this RAM kit, but the speed is good and um, you've got enough capacity. Because one thing that you need to bear in mind is because we're going to be using the integrated graphics in the AMD 3200G, um, it actually uses two gigs of your system memory for video memory. So if you only have eight gigs of RAM, it means that you end up with only six gigs of total system memory, which really isn't enough. Um, so 16 gigs is important here. And then a better power supply. So it's, um, I think it's the same actual like, um, output, but it's 80 plus bronze. So it's a better power supply, same motherboard, same CPU. And this configuration will perform significantly better than that iBuy power one. And you have a really good upgrade route to go here. So you can drop in um, a graphics card later down the line. Something like the RX 570 is a really good upgrade. So if you can get like an 8 gig version of this graphics card, you know, a month or two months later, you're going to get a big, big performance boost over that terrible iBuy power system. Now, the one problem with this configuration is that you still need to buy a Windows key, you still need to build the system and install Windows on it. And for a lot of people, that is pretty scary, right? You don't necessarily want to do that. I would recommend to do that at this budget. Um, and if you're too scared to build your own system, maybe find a family member that's really into PCs or a friend that can help you through the process uh, because, you know, you'd be saving a bunch of money. But let's look at pre-built options that make a little bit more sense. 
Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process of finding a pre-built that's better because there are a lot of them and a lot of the options are really bad. I know that I'm picking specifically on iBuyPower here, but they all kind of suck. However, I found this guy for $470, so it's a little... Okay, it's on sale though, so again... $580 is probably the price we should be looking at because I don't know how long it's going to be on sale. But this system is way better. It's got an RX 550 in it, which is a dedicated graphics card that actually makes sense. Although this system still has its problems. It's got a 2200G in it, which is an older generation CPU, which isn't ideal if you're buying a new PC. Um, it's only got eight gigs of RAM. Uh, although you're not using the integrated graphics, so you will actually have 8 gigs of RAM and it's also just got a normal hard drive. Um, so I would recommend buying this system over that iBuyPower one if you have no way to build your own system. But I really think that this cart makes a lot more sense. Although I don't know if I'd go for that case specifically. So with that, I think I can get to the conclusion of this video, which is basically... If you have about $500 to spend on a PC, be very careful of the pre-built systems that you find on websites like Amazon because, you know, they may have all this like gamery information all over it, but oftentimes they're actually lying to you about the performance that you're going to get from that system. And honestly, you'd get better gaming performance if you take out some of the parts. So just be very careful. And um, I would actually recommend building your own system with, with your own components um, and finding a friend that can help you put that PC together. Anyway, with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Follow me on Twitch, Discord, Instagram, Twitter, anything that you like. And yeah, until the next video, bye-bye.